This is our solar cell with motor attached with crimps. So you're going to take, go ahead and this tape just holds the motor to your panel and you can take that right off. You want to be careful not to pull on the wires and put that to the side. You take your smallest gear and it has the smallest hole and you're going to place it right there on the motor and you need to press that in. You don't want to press too far that the gear goes up against the motor. You want a little bit of distance there. So you need to pull this out so that this gear rotates freely. So take the car with a gear towards you and the front of the car away because the motor turns one way and you want the car to go forwards you're going to place the motor so that the motor gears and the axle gears mesh and they join. Just put it there and just hold it there and that's how you you're going to assemble the car. So the motor again is on this side with the car facing forward. If I and I haven't taped it there yet, but if I flip the car over and it's on the right side and I put the motor here, the car will run backwards and so do not put the motor on the right side. The motor goes on the left side as the car is facing, the front of the car is facing away from you, just like this. Okay, now we have two pieces of tape. This item you have two pieces of tape. You're going to tape the motor to the car body and I'm going to cut this piece in half for a little bit just to get a good connection then I'll use more tape. There should be plenty of tape to do this. I'm going to just cut a little bit of it in half. Oh, about halfway down thereabouts. And I'm going to cut that section off. So I, I peel my tape and I put it around my motor. Now we're just putting it here to make sure we need to make sure again those gears mesh. You don't want it too far in there. You don't want the motor sticking way in here where it hits the gears. You want it about even with the body. And so we're going to tape it down there like this and those gears are still meshed well. We're going to push the front of the car, the motor, down. And then we just have a real quick connection with tape. And you can see if I move the wheels, the gears in the motor spin. So if the gears with the motor spin, the wheels will turn. Okay, so that's the real quick connection. Now, as you race your car, you need more tape on there because you don't want the motor moving as it as the it torques. So, we're going to put a little bit more tape on there and secure the motor a little bit better to the car body. So, you can see we put some extra tape across here and all the way down and underneath the body. And again, that just holds the um, motor in place so that it connects with the gears and everything rolls together. At this point you need to roll the tires and make sure that the gears work. If the gears motor gear is not turning you need to realign the motor a little bit right now and get those gears to mesh properly. With the other piece of tape we're just going to take and cut a couple pieces off here and need to, without getting the tape on the solar panel, because that's where your energy comes from, tape a little piece here. And this actually helps keep your motor in place also. Put that here about on your motor. 
and then you secure that to your motor. Take another piece of tape, just a pretty small piece. Again, you don't want to get any tape, even if it's clear tape, on your solar panel. That needs to be left exposed. Take another piece of tape and you can, as I unfold it, secure that to your black part of your panel. Bend that up a little bit, push that down, and then your panel is now attached to your car. Cut another small piece of tape, and you'll see these wires dangling here. If you want those up and out of your way, you can turn your car over and tape the wires up out of the way to the bottom of your car. And there you have a completed solar car that's ready to go down the racetrack. So now that your solar car is complete, we're going to you need to pick them up carefully and, and handle them by the car body, not by the panel, but the car body. We're going to take it outside into the sunshine and make sure that the car operates as designed. As you can see, we're outside in the sun doing a test, and you can see by the movement of the wheels, gears are connected, the wheels are spinning, and if I cover the solar panel, my wheels stop, uncover, we're off again. This is a success, sex, successful test of the solar car. As an alternative to the tape, taping the motor down, if you have access to a low temp hot glue gun, you can, again, making sure that the gear is on the left, put the gear where you need it, the motor where you need it, put a little hot glue on the car body, and installing that, making sure the gear is mesh, it only takes a little bit and that glue connects. Put a little bit of the glue on the top of the motor. Securing that in place just takes a second with a glue gun. Turning it around. Lifting up the motor just a little bit, a little dab between there and the car body. Getting rid of anything. And then you have your solar car without the tape, but glued to the panel. Again, you just want to turn the wheels. Make sure that your motor gear turns with your axle gear.